Well, if I ever had to have said, what are you doing? Well, then this is the perfect story. I can tell you the story of Thomas and Rosemary Uva. I actually grew up, uh, they were living in South, uh, South Queens, Ozone Park, which is a famous um, mob area. And we're traveling right now. We're going to go down to that street uh, where the married couple uh, live. This is the uh, street here in Ozone Park. I don't know exactly what house that was. Uh, I'm not able to, uh, to find it uh, where it was. But we're going to travel along here and we're going to tell you the story which you just shake their head at. Um, you know, Thomas Hoover had had a criminal past here. Um, nothing uh, major in the, the, the I guess, the, the scheme of things. Uh, did do some time, though. Uh, but he was a sort of, of a uh, kind of dused uh, by with the mob. Um, so much so that he would be at work and he would take time, uh, take days off to just go to the, to the trial of uh, John Gotti. He was induced by the mob. So you figure uh, Mr. Uva here would know a thing or two about the mobs. So, a fascination with the mob or a wannabe so-called mob member. Uh, there is an actually, uh, there is actually a movie based on the Uvas, two movies, uh, The Wannabe and Rob the Mob. So, with the Uvas here, it is said that the couple robbed at least four and as many as ten mob clubs carrying a Uzi submachine gun. Thomas entered the clubs, demanded that everyone inside turn over their cash and jewelry, and then insisted that they all drop their pants. Disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Club members prohibited, uh, they were prohibited by underworld rules from, you know, bringing any type of weapons into the establishments. That was a rule, uh, an unwritten rule, and you rob the, the social clubs, they're unarmed, and odds are they have a lot of money. So, Thomas kept on doing this, kept on doing this, and Rosemary, um, you know, would be outside in, a ro in the getaway car. Because it's considered humiliating, a violation of kind of mob uh, code, the victims never reported these robberies. Also never forgot them. Uva robbed many social clubs. It was said that he robbed a skinny dom club in Ozone Park, which is where we are, twice. On one of those occasions, the club members attempted to pursue the Uvas after a robbery. Rosemary managed to escape the mobsters, but not before they jolted down the license plate number of her car. Bad move, Rosemary and Thomas, bad move. Informants reported that Thomas Uva went out of his way to kind of embarrass, antagonize these club members. During one robbery, he made a show of, like, just messing up the hair of the members. So, he almost, like, welcomed retribution. He said, listen... Everyone dies. When club members assured him that he would be killed for his offenses, he said, everyone dies. That's what Tom Uwe said. So, here we are. Fast forwarding now to Christmas Eve. On this intersection, as the Uvas were making their journey, you, you've been in that journey, you followed it along so far. 
right about now, individual comes out of their car, shoots the Uvas in their car. They were, he was being, the Uvas were being followed, not knowing it. Shoots the Uvas three times, right in this location, right where you see the minivan. Three times. I believe it's three times. I said it with conviction. I believe it's three times. So eventually, um, uh, I don't know at this point if they were dead already, but they were shot. Uh, foot on the gas still. The, the car is rolling. It's still going as you're following. Picture that minivan there. It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. It makes it past this stop sign. Just keep your eye out on that minivan. Makes it past that stop sign. Continues to go forward. And now we're at the intersection of Woodhaven uh, Boulevard. And I believe this is uh, 103rd, I believe this is. I could be wrong. But as it's crossing the boulevard, as it's crossing Woodhaven Boulevard or Cross Bay Boulevard, the car gets hit. It's a topaz. It gets hit and it smashes into a residential wall, which we believe is that wall right straight ahead where the gray car is turning uh, on the left-hand side where those two gray cars just turned. And there you see... Some pictures um, and newspaper article clippings of that time there, uh, that accident. So because of the close proximity, as we're going to what was the location of the Cafe Liberty, uh, because of the close proximity, uh, and this case went unsolved for quite some time, Police thought um, that it, it was a coincidence, so to speak, um, that maybe Skinny Dom had something to do with this, being um, that the location where the Uvas were killed um, was about a half a mile away, and that's the Cafe Liberty. Uh, if you remember, um, he robbed them twice. Take the next uh, right the, to the Uvas. Um, you know, as we're going to make a right here, this is Liberty Avenue. You know, going down a few blocks here. I and and eventually it. Um, you know, I believe he was sentenced to. 15 years for Skinny uh, skinny Dom uh, for the incident with the Uzas, but I just I just don't understand what they were thinking robbing the mob robbing the mob and you're just asking for trouble uh, I, you know, I don't know uh, if they had some type of a, you know, some type of debt that they needed to take care of or whatever it was. Or maybe just the thrill of it. Not the smartest thing to do. Right across the street uh, it is 8410 was the location of the Cafe Liberty. Uh, it's soon been... Uh, it, it's been gone for quite some time now. Uh, actually, many a years, I believe this has been at least uh, eight or ten years since Cafe Liberty has been gone. That is the story, the case of the Ubas. Here is a clip of the wannabe. No one told you to go rob the blockbuster. You are on your own. Let me 
What is this? I'm working out some things that might help out John Senior. Nobody knows you. Where are you from? I got something big. Take a walk. I got a pull on the garage farm. I swear to God, may strike me dead. Yes! One more reaction like that, and you will be removed from this courtroom. How much? 50K. 50K. We get not guilty? John Gotti's from the jail. No more five families. John. You use it again? Do I look like I'm using it again? I think I may have some good in this. We got the clearance from the tippy top. We got everything. Christmas came early. It's the real deal. You know, if you're not on the inside, you're on the outside, right? If you guys came to the house asking questions and you weren't cops. Wake up, Thomas. Wake up. Soldier for Big Sal and Ernie. Hey, Thomas, you're not with us. You played me. Who do you think I was going to set this up with? I'm looking out first. 